Right, well, that's the subject, isn't it? Basic tackle. Let's talk about this, shall we? Rods, You've got to start with rods. Well, look at that, that's a cane fly rod. This is a modern cane rod, okay? People still use cane. This isn't from the olden days. This is a modern cane rod. Some rods are made out of cane, called bamboo in America. This is a fiberglass rod, okay? It's not from the 70s or the 80s. This is a modern, fast action, high performance, fiberglass fly rod. Yeah, they're still making them. This is the world's thinnest, lightest fly rod. It actually has a solid carbon tip in it, taken from coarse fishing technology. That's what it can do. Bend in a full hoop. This is a double-handed fly rod, simple as that. It's got two handles. They tend to be longer. You tend to fish for them using spay casts. This is the current Microlite range by Sunray. It's a 20% thinner carbon technology. It's got a very slim handle on it. This down-locking CNC aluminium reel seat with carbon insert. All the technology is very high-end. And this is a high-performing, modern carbon fly rod. This is what you call a practice fly rod, okay? It's got, it's only four feet long, and on it, it's got some wool on the end, and then it's got some big red wool here, and you can use it indoors. I'm gonna be showing you how to do certain casts using this particular rod. It's still a fly rod. It's a practice rod. You wouldn't go fishing with it, but essentially it does the same thing that a fly line does on a fly rod. Great practice tool. We'll be using this a lot. Rod tubes, okay? This one is an old fashioned one made out of good solid metal with brass things on the end. My cane fly rod, modern cane fly rod, came in this, so kind of retro. This is a fiberglass rod tube made for a fiberglass fly rod. Nice sort of transparent colors, very modern, quite lightweight. It's made out of fiberglass. It's still a fly rod tube. This is the one I see most of, Cordura. In this case, hexagonal, okay? They have a zip top like this. You put your rod in it there, and that's a Cordura tube. Hard wearing, light, cheap. This is a high-end premium carbon fiber brushed finish rod tube. These are the Microlites, Microlite SS in UV ink there. These are very expensive rod tubes. Why? They're very, very light. They're very nice to touch. If you get into international fishing, you want to get on a plane, you want to keep the weight down. It's very light, it's very strong, and it looks great. Carbon fiber rod tube. Rod socks, you put your rod in them before you put that in the tube. What's the difference? You know, what's the big deal? You're just putting it in a bit of cloth. No, when you're fishing, sometimes it gets wet the rod gets wet, you put it in a sock that doesn't breathe, when you pull it out the tube again, it's gone mouldy. Your 800 quid rod is ruined. Air mesh. Air travels through the sock and it's very, very spongy and very, very cushioning. So your expensive rod goes into a rod sock that breathes, completely protects it, goes into a carbon fiber rod tube. That's a premium fly rod solution. Fly reels commonly thought of as just storage devices and i used to disagree and now i agree yep well you need a disc drag what's a what's called a disc drag on a fly reel if you're fighting powerful fish what does a disc drag do well it's like the brakes on your car press together create friction and slow down any high powerful fast running fish that may be on the end of your line that's when you need a drag. How many times are there? Pff, salt water fishing, big sort of salmon, something like that. Every other time, to be honest, you don't need a drag. Or at least you don't need a powerful one. These reels, $130, do me absolutely fine. What you're looking for is that that line does not jam on that spool. When you're reeling in, you've hooked a fish, you're not doing this thing called level winding. The line can build up on one side, jam on that spool like that, you'll lose your big fish. So most important thing for me is they're fairly robust. They've got enough capacity so that you don't jam your line on it and they're cheap enough. Okay, the big question. What do you put on your fly reel? Okay, it's, it's unlike other forms of fishing, isn't it? There seems to be two, three, four, sometimes five different things, attachments that you put onto what is essentially something to drag back a fish if you hook it. Let's talk about it. The first thing you put on a fly reel is called backing. What is it? It's basically like filler. 
you tie it onto the reel, it's the first thing that you do, you wind it on, you wind it on, you put about 50 yards, 50 meters in this case. That seems to be enough for most species. If you're into hard fighting species, salt water, or any situation where it's shallow and fish are gonna run a long way horizontally, get more backing, 50 yards has done me pretty much for all me fishing around the world. Pretty simple, thin, braided, multi-filament backing. All you need is a good, strong connection between your fly line and your fly reel. That's backing. Here we are, fly lines. Well, 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 well. For now, let's just do the basic overview of what a fly line is. What do they look like? Okay, here's one in no packaging. Okay, that is one of ours. That is called a pro line. That is a fly line. Here is our first ever fly line that we created in 2015. It's in a box, look, there it is. Here's our current iteration of fly lines. This is called a bangle spool. It doesn't come off sideways like this. It comes off in line towards you, minimizing, eliminating what we call twist. Packaging does help in how a piece of tackle is presented to you. This is designed to have the hole ripped out of it like that, take the plastic off, attach that to the backing and just pull it off. This is what you tie onto the fly line. It's called a leader. This one is nine feet long. It goes from thick to thin and you tie the thick bit onto the fly line. This is called tippet. Tippet is very similar to leader, except this is level. It's not tapered. It has no thick bit, it has no thin bit. It's all one level length and you tie this onto your leader. This is called line slick. You rub it on the fly line, it makes it fly through the guides much easier. It makes it easier to pull off the water and it generally extends the life of your fly line. It's called line slick. And that is basic tackle.